Suffice it to say that the DOH is very much ready to present the transition plan and what the challenges are. At least there are uh, three uh, major challenges that uh, the next administration ought to pursue uh, uh, after uh, the Duterte administration comes to an end. No? Mm-hmm. So, uh, Una una siyempre, they have to build on the gains of the Duterte administration in terms of the pandemic response. And I think third party assessment bodies uh, have shown an example is the Nikkei uh, COVID 19 recovery index, no? where we have had a uh, very, very substantive, if not substantial, uh, jump from. Uh, ranking uh, in the 70s no and now we're at the 33rd among uh, mm-hmm. a list of 121 nations so under that no yung kuno natin trajectory natin it's, it's all, all pataas no one cases are mm-hmm. down our mm-hmm. vaccination trajectory is also up except for the booster no? i'll be the first one to admit that we're really struggling with the booster dose coverage no para nahirapan kami talaga but we have not uh, given up and I think the next administration will see uh, the wisdom of uh, what this, uh, uh, what we have done, in DOH in particular, uh, in terms of improving access to the booster uh, dose uh, for our uh, people. We've uh, practically uh, expanded access uh, to our vaccines for uh, booster coverage. No? So I think this is uh, one of the major challenges the next administration must uh, address and uh, pursue. The next challenge mm. of the world, but you, is the uh, uh, universal health care. Mm. Oh, and in particular, yung, uh, the primary uh, primary care services. Yun ang uh, weakness ng Philippine health care system. No? Uh, in adequate primary care uh, services. Uh, I have been hearing names no? uh, yes. of uh, the uh, potential uh, Secretary of Health post Duterte administration. Uh, mm-hmm. They're all good. I know all of them. I think they're all qualified. Uh, they've had uh, quite a track record of uh, public service. But I uh, will not tell you or disclose to you who they who they are. 